Alright, alright, alright. Cheers everyone. Jamal here. Welcome back to Welcome back to Battle Brothers and welcome back to the old timers run where we return on day 117. Probably at the end of the Noble War. Noble War, uh, we might need to do some uh, something to that ourselves. But um, yeah, let's continue continue our way south. Let's see if we find any of the House Winterhalls, the black flag with uh, with elk or or deer or whatever that is, reindeer. And um, let's see if we can fight them. If not, we have a bandit location there we know of, and another one in there. Uh, not sure if I want to go to that uh, undead location in the swamp. Uh, maybe not now. Um, there was one thing I noticed. We uh, we got some new pros, new pros last time, and uh, just uh, just to kind of track a little bit where these brothers end up in compared to the forecast. I I write down the stat numbers when I. When I recruit them, at the same time I'm checking like their potential, and uh, decide that uh, someone will be a zirkling that they uh, probably can't reach some numbers. Uh, I actually checked numbers, and Azrael can actually reach pretty good numbers. They have either gotten pretty good rolls as they have been leveling up, or I kind of mischecked them in the beginning or something. But uh, they can actually turn out pretty. Pretty okay, so they are they are not in the let's sacrifice them on let's let's sacrifice sacrifice them as fast as possible list anymore. Um, but I also noticed I don't I don't really know what happened in this one. Uh, I was maybe I was tired yesterday. Um, I somehow misread Zemzi completely. Maybe I got excited for the two stars in the defense. But uh, this character's um, this character's melee just won't be enough uh, in the long run. So I even got them a training bonus because I figured I I want to level them up. But uh, actually, Zims here, Zims here, we can just let go because they they can only reach on average 75, and that that's just uh, not worth it to level them up uh, with all the other brothers we have. So. Uh, once again, Zemsi's character will actually <laughs> take a walk, and whoever we recruit next will uh, will name for Zemsi. Um, yeah, so that was uh, that was my bad. Um, that was my bad. That was my bad with that, but other than that, we uh, we should be fine. Uh, scape here we are keeping, so that they can at some point craft us a bow. Uh, their stats are pretty pretty average, sadly, but uh, that was from the beginning. I just wanted to keep a boyer. Uh, everyone else, everyone else in the company kind of have their place at the moment, apart from Scape and uh, and Redact. They they simply won't have the stats. To be uh, to be good enough, uh, so that's why I changed Redact to be uh, more of a frontliner. So they will go and uh, go and um, go and tank stuff. Um, actually, Monkey back in here is kind of borderline. They uh, the, after they get uh, rid of this injury, they they have a pretty decent attack as well. So kind of uh, just like Azrael here, Monkey Wagon and Mind end up actually staying staying in the company. But on the other hand, we do need to cycle brothers in and out a little bit. So uh, let's uh, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Uh, I would really like to get some of the brothers I want to get rid of, like Redact. Go down in the battle, but come back with permanent injury, so that I could uh, dismiss them and get uh, Trill Sergeant into the retinue. That requires 
uh, dismissing a brother with permanent injury. And I don't want to let go of uh, machine. Um, because even with this, they are still okay. And uh, same thing with Sissy, who actually more or less got better with brain damage. As they just hit level 11. And the uh, only thing they lost was experience gain, really. Um, so yeah. That's kind of where we are. We did find a brother with uh, decent decent fatigue, three stars in defense. That might be our first heavy tank. So uh, we'll be leveling them up as well. But with all that said, with all that said, why don't you take this stuff? Why don't you take this, this stuff and... Um, This stuff, and I think I will change that net into a, into a shield if you get in that position. And uh, I would like you to carry this shield as well. And then... Still want to keep Killing Moon here, here in the back lines for a bit, so that they continue leveling up. Leveling up, and then... Um, Change that. No. It's uh, one. Uh, you can have. Uh, you can have that. Mm, let's see. You have a blue hat. So I'm putting these blue hats on people who uh, who I want to focus skills on. But actually, doesn't work. Work with uh, with heavy, more heavily armored guys. Uh, it works with you. Let's do that. Okay. So let's uh, let's head south to Drogan and uh, see what we find. Hey there, Bobaro. How you doing? So hey there, Triddle. Also, hi to all of guys who I said chat in the chat. So, uh, how are you doing, MRE? What are guys signing for? How are you doing, guys? Okay, we have a contract here. Contract VA here. We do have a brawler. Mm, I think I'm still on the lookout for a second. Second good tank. Scare. I guess as far as tanking goes, this uh, these masons could be could be good as well. But it's just with the farm hands they can roll 15 higher on the resolve instead of 100 and 105. They can roll all the way up to 120, and uh, that fatigue fatigue is so important for tanks. Uh, this place has been raided. Rebuilding efforts. Let's see, I will. I can't, can't buy those tools right now. I don't need to buy stuff. What is this? Uh, goblins. Mm, I don't think I will fight goblins right now. Hmm. Free skull thieves. Hmm. The money is quite light. Follow the tracks for for uh, for thieves. You know what we will do. With this it's probably on like a slightly higher higher level than uh, whoa. Uh, why are you doing this machine? Entering Trogan, it isn't long until the machine is pottering the locals. He's slapping buckets out of their hands and kicking women in the mud. Into the mud. Machine, what the hell? When an old man confronts him, the sellsword draws out his weapon. Other peasants beg that you put a stop to this at once. Put the peasants in their place and search their homes for valuables. Uh, machine, you need to stop this. Uh, what the hell was this? 
And these random events are so random. Where did this come from? Because they are sellsword? Fucking nobles. No, is it just calling sellsword because we are mercenaries? It's not the sellsword class. Okay, what the hell machine? Where did that come from? Because they are brawler? Because they... You would understand it was sissy because they got brain damage. That's the that's the thing. They they are not they don't really have traits. Okay, it was probably a brawler event. Man, that sucks. Um I don't know what uh, what the percentage is that when when they start considering leaving. Um I still don't really want to dismiss him, but if he if he would for some reason uh desert, then uh I'd much, much rather dismiss them some myself if they're gonna leave anyway. I uh, I will put them into the into the next battle just to improve that morale. Um, where are you bandits? Ooh, a plethora of armored feeder gangers. 22. 22 of them. Yeah, I expected there to be a leader because it was a free skull mission. Okay. Let's see that we have, uh, have everyone ready. I think we do. Usually, it's usually just a big mess to fight two enemies at once, even if they, even if they go after each other. It's just, uh, it's just too much trouble. Ah, it would have been nice to stop them there, but uh, this is fine. At least we are on even ground, and uh, we can potentially even shoot some of the guys while they are still below. Uh, for uh, okay. Dreaded swine is uh, <laughs> is their uh, legendary leader. Uh, I normally wouldn't have range to shoot these guys, I think, but I will take the shot because they are on a low ground. That's right. That is right. Sadly, those guys are behind, behind those broskies. Don't care that much about these ducks here. Okay. I think I will... Yeah, you know what, we will, we will just stay here. <laughs> I'll save your ammunition a little bit. Start with wavering morale. But that's because of the disgruntled as well. You know what? I will uh, go 
we'll tear into middle. No, oh, you broke Redax shield. Okay, it's a good thing ASF actually has a shot on the marksman from high ground because the marksman didn't move. I'm a bit surprised they didn't move, but uh, it's a good thing they didn't. Uh, I'll wait with Sixy a little bit. Leader is still free there. Sadly. Get there, leader. Leader came for a son. Maybe that will cheer machine up. Get a kill and the killing frenzy berserker from there. Okay, unfortunately, it's there. No. 
Sure. Sure, if that's armor is any good, I care about it. Let me wait with you for a bit. Try to try to get that armor. I think it's only the like 150 armor, but let's see. Just, uh, just got started. We are doing a nice, simple, nice, simple um, brigand fight here to get uh, get this started. Okay, redact is dodging all the all the shots there. It's good. everything from that guy, including the maze. That's nice. Good job, guys. Good job on the leader. Good job in the whole fight. Like, that was so easy for this amount of experience that uh, I love it. Just love it. Okay, it was, one, it was 170 armor. That's fine. It was worth, worth daggering. This was only 90, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. How much are you waiting? You're paying me 3,000. <laughs> no. We don't need the monies. We don't need the monies so much. Armor could be 
just right for you. Just right for you. Level up Ice Beam. Nice plus four tear. We already are effectively at one. One hard, but I will level this to 80. 80 on the raw. Raw scale. Pretty good rolls just overall. I think I will give them the plus three as well. Uh, well actually, let's, let's level up the hit points a little bit more still. Uh, okay. Throw our brother. Throw our brother. I think I will give them the throwing stuff. I already gave them the duelist, so I guess Berserker would be next. Um... I went without Gifted, so I have that in the end if I feel like I want to have one last stat roll when we get to 11. But that's good. That is very good. So I kind of have everything I like really want. I think that Berserker makes sense. If they get killed, they can, uh, can keep on going. I think the whole idea with this guy is uh, that they are a decent thrower, but kind of their main thing is still the battle standard they can use with their uh, rally the troops. Kilpa has been doing amazing job, so this was uh, this was the sword master. So they will have uh, they will have high uh, high defense and high high melee skill in the end. Uh, let's see, let's level them up. Can you please not get this is the second round they get plus ones. It's a good thing they started high, but uh, man, that is unlucky. Uh, I'll take that plus one for sure. Uh, they need all the fatigue we can, so we need to take that. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, it's a good thing they started high. So I think they are still still ending up in the, like, the 90s. 90s here, so I think I will uh, once again skip that plus one because that's already kind of okay ish and uh, take those hit points instead, which they do need as well. So let's continue fixing the other stats, then I guess. Mm. I I could already give them the give them the axe back because I feel like they are going for that. And for that in the end, May spec would be another one. Um, hmm. May spec would be the other one. So I think with their defense, they will be uh, will be a pretty good frontliner. They need they need a lot of hit points. Another, another maze guy would be would be pretty good. Another guy, I think I will hold on with the spec. I will give them the steel prow so they uh, they can take some hits easier. Easier, and we go for the underdog next, and then they'll get the battle forged. And um, they can already tank tank quite well. Uh, with this armor, their fatigue is. I think it's decent, but uh, to get the heaviest, they need more, more fatigue. Okay, was that all? It was all. The machine to dissatisfied. Well, it's fine. Uh, we could handle this kind of fight pretty easily. I haven't really fought undead. I, I just don't like the necromancers at all. 
but there's kind of just uh, normal guys we uh, we could fight. But the thing is, we are winning those fights with some of because most of my guys have fearsome, uh, so we are spreading the morale checks into the human enemies pretty effectively. These guys would not run, so uh, they they get they get their normal normal level ups and such. But uh, I'm kind of tempted at actually actually fighting these guys because uh, I haven't really fought fought something like this. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to fight them. In the, but on the other hand, they are the ones coming for me, so uh, the terrain is the terrain doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Ah, okay, interesting. These were these were not the heaviest kinds I was thinking about. Okay, there's an interesting high ground here. Interesting high ground. The thing about uh even the even the zombies, they are a little bit careful with high ground. But uh, we definitely need to take this up floor here. Or just stay away from it completely and just uh for example, we could back away in here, which actually might be better. It would limit, limit, and we could have our range guys up on top, just shooting down. Mm. You know what? I kind of like that because they, they more or less have only one way up. How does that work? Just like a gap here. Is it even higher? What? It's weird. What is what is in this tile? Nothing. Maybe I, maybe I don't see it because I'm not close enough. Probably something like that. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now I see it. Now I see it. So these would be the tiles where the enemies are. Actually, if they are there, they can't, so they will come up from these tiles. From there, they can't even get up, and we would we would just take these. Okay. Then a couple of guys lower. Uh, can't all can't all really fit there. That's the thing. I have ranged guys up there. Because you can't hit two tiles down. You can't hit from this level there. So they they would be coming up from here as well. Like this this tile. Okay, I still I still kind of like it. Just uh, taking taking this and seeing what happens. Okay, it's uh it's good high ground for us. Let's go there. Leave some of my strong uh, fellows here. Hey, Entrecor, how are you doing? All dual gripping their stuff, so that means easier to kill because they don't have shields, but also they will do more damage if they actually connect. Okay, so they have a space up from here, from here, from here and there. So one one tank in that spot for sure. Maybe I put my uh Maybe 
go I'll put my um, better guys in there machine can uh, kind of be here hitting both sides with maze as needed ice beam will come on top killing moon can uh, probably be somewhere in here hitting that slot Probably have soon mark in here. Interesting to see how they will uh, how they will position themselves. Sorry. I I'm was these were the armored Vider Kangas. I actually remember this, but uh, I was I think I was thinking about the ancient guard or something like that. Uh, that have the heavy armors and helmets and everything. They uh, they are a little bit more annoying to deal with because they uh, have such heavy armor. These guys, it's a uh, it's a numbers game and uh, matter of. Uh, Metal of fatigue for our side. Okay, we can start shooting from here, which is good. So each of these zombies will raise up um, once. Okay, we want someone on this side as well. Let's see, let's see. They all just all just come here. Well, they uh, should have pretty pretty easy time with these guys. So we are kind of funneling them, funneling them into into us. Um, yeah, you can, um, you can chop their heads off. Some of our weapons do that. And, uh, I actually don't have, don't have my cleaver guy here, Tommy, who, uh, who has, uh, who has the cleaver. And the cleaver has the decapitate attack, which has a higher chance of, uh, of getting the, getting those headshots. A lot of our weapons do do decapitate with quite big chance, like the axes and stuff. Okay, luckily this time those 82% misses don't matter, but it's still it's still annoying. Axes on them because they don't have uh, not have that much armor. Yeah, I hope we hope we get more helmets like that. That's a uh, that is cool looking helmet and the uh, coat of scales is looking pretty cool as well.
Nice triple kill. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need really the kills for Mr. Sek, but that was uh, I had to do that because it was possible. So nice to be throwing the axes and javelins from high up like this because uh, because the accuracy bonus and uh, range bonus from high up. I think Mr. Sick killed the same fray again, so good for him. Yeah, I think Redact, I forgot, I forgot to give uh, Redact the shield back, that uh, sucks a little bit. They will run out of uh, javelins here. So I don't want Kilopater to be tanking all those guys. Ah, mm. oh, that miss sucks. If I jump down, I will be a level below, right? Yeah, shit. I got killed by a little bit of a trouble. I should have moved them uh, last turn. Yeah, I don't like where I got them. Oh, nice. Nice headshot there with uh, Bellhook. 
I think I will be go will be going faster than them. Uh, not faster than that guy, sadly. See if I can help kill the guy who's coming for coming for Kilpa. Oh, there's guy in there, right? Well, I think we can manage. That was the first swing the enemies got. That's the second. Mr. Sec is zombie wrecking machine. They, they literally killed like eight of them already and just run, run out of steam. Five or nine ninety five percent miss. Those suck like this because in this game, maximum chance to hit is 95%. You can never have 100, and uh, <laughs> it, is, it is so annoying like missing those because effectively those guys have 100%, but uh, because you can't have 100%, they have the chance to miss, and uh, when they actually do miss with those, uh, those that minimum chance, it's, uh, it's a little, little annoying. Okay, my uh, my ranged guys are doing uh, doing a lot of damage. So far, they have not gotten lucky with their. Uh, Gotten lucky with their 30 percenters, but uh, let's see if they do. Ooh, one of them got up. Ah, 
kind of recovers, probably a bit Um, I think you only get the experience once. And uh, maybe there's like a fraction of an XP for the second kill, but I think the first kill is the main kill and gives the experience for the... who gets the kill and... Uh, who gets the kill and... So on. Uh, okay, machine, are you okay there? Uh, looks like you are. Looks like you are doing just fine. Eventually, even a 12 percenter does connect, so... Oh. Right, I can't, can't hit two levels down. For reanimated zombies, makes sense that kind of some you get something, but not much. Two percenter. It's machine's head off. Not well, luckily not the head off, but the helmet. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Machine got five kills. Mr. Sec got nine. Oh, 
I was on purpose not getting kills in the six, and they uh, managed to do that. Yeah, that was uh, that was easy. Basically, basically, just time. There was uh, there was zero danger in that. Even that they got one of their twenty. They had some like I think thirty percent was maybe the maximum because we were on a high ground that they got. Sales prices are not good. I'll get those tools just to restock. And same thing with those ammunition, even that it's not really cheap. Uh, that is not cheap either, even that they have rebuilding efforts. Uh, the brawler is still here, but that's it. And I don't have anything for taxidermist now. Okay. These guys are these guys are fighting fighting each other. That is affecting the war, but uh, we have not been fighting. What's been? Ooh, wolf riders. I would rather not fight that right now. It's where the goblin raiders they were talking about. So yeah, we are not fighting fighting the whites and uh, whites and reds. We are fighting the blacks. Should have bought food. They are fighting something. Oh, there's multiples of them. Okay. I think there's like 30 of them there in total. They are going with the same speed, so... They are individually running away from me. But uh, even that in total, they would be a horrible fight for me. Yeah, 14 and 15. I fought a party of 29. Uh, uh, no, even I think it was 30. Maybe 29. Uh, like one of those I would like to take. But not together. Okay, this is good for me. Oh, no. Oh, it's not. Between the rock and the hard place, eh? Okay. Okay. I was able to able to get uh, brigands on their own. It would have been a it would have been a weird fight, everyone versus everyone, if the nobles joined, or maybe they actually would have joined against me. Uh, they would have been not even uh, fought each other. Okay, where's the leader? Leader is not present yet. Okay, with all the all the marksmen, they they are staying back, and uh, very conveniently, my guys are on the high ground already. Dreaded Gustav. Well, we are dreading. We are dreading already. I really should give Redact the shield. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting? It's so dumb.
I'm thinking how, how far I need to be to for the lone wolf bonus. And do I want to go there? I will. So they should have Lone Wolf active now. Yeah. Actually, that ruins the ruins the lone wolf. But I I want this high ground if they want to come here. I will move away from there probably. I don't want any pillmen to stand there either. The leader has javelins out. Some on that leader since I have a chance now. The leader. No. Someone missed their challenge. They they don't they don't like Sundmark. <laughs> they are not going for them. They they know they can't hit him. As they come. Oh, well, they still hit him. Okay, 30, 34%. I probably ruined ruined that block by coming here. Okay, geez, just yeah, just hit everything now. 25%, yep, sure, good. There was one sixty-one percent there there as well, but geez, come on. All of a sudden it started hitting everything. These guys in the back should give. Uh, uh, maybe Kilpa is actually too close. Is it free or further? I haven't used the Lone Wolf. No, oh, that's easy. No allies within three tiles, so they need to be four tiles away. So uh Kilpa is too close at the moment. You are far enough. Okay. Want to step in to hit this guy, but I also also want to give the lone wolf bonus there. Can't can't get a hit in unless you move there. It's your defense. It's decent.
So now you should be okay. Can I can I see it in here right away? Maybe it activates when they when they have a turn. One, two, three. Yeah, I should have it now. Five when they have a shield wall up. Not bad. So while we clear this side, I'll just let them them deal with that. So we want to be to be here. Those, those do I the flail ignores the shield bonus. That's kinda kinda explains that. Okay, that's annoying. Only 47% of you. Luckily that leader can't throw shit. Raiders died, the leader is running next. Let's come here to help.
Yeah, homie, it's doing good. One, uh, one brigand fight, one undead fight, and uh, this one. Oh, nice one, machine. Very good. Machine levels up to 11, ASF to level 12. Killing Moon, I think level 6, Demon level 7. Very nice. Very nice. Some tools. Even got some food. Just have to remember we have noble army right there. Noble army right there. These guys are getting dissatisfied for being being in the reserve. I think we'll put face tapper in in again. Let's level up machine to level eleven. So it's end, they end up with 85, 24, and pretty decent decent hit points and stuff. Let's get that plus four from there. And I think they will round up, round up their maze things. I was thinking, will I like have them have to fear some, fear some or something else? The defense is not that great. The eighty-five is okay-ish, but like fast adaptation or nine lives would not be bad. Well, actually, they, well, yeah, they died. Died already once. Mm. I think with, uh, with their loss of fatigue, they are not as effective with the Berserk. So far in these fights, but they were actually doing, doing surprisingly well. So most of these two handers I've had this nimble nimble berserk killing frenzy fearsome. The fearsome is kind of it's best on the axe guys who have the chosen axe, then they can do the big AoE. Still give them to. I don't know. The thing about fearsome is that kind of it piles piles up a little bit, even even if the effect effect is small. Kind of triggering triggering more of those more of those morale checks. So we are doing that's why we are doing so well against humans. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, I don't actually know if... Uh... So I don't think it's needed for the stun, the headhunter you are meaning. So I think this, uh, even if you hit with this, it's not like hitting to a head. That is a that is a nice one, but I don't I haven't really used that. But well, like, like for specific builds. Mm. I think I will give them nine lives. Nine lives because that can uh, in those in those big fights I can't necessarily avoid them getting killed, so then they can. Uh, Stand up with that. You Let's see how much of that fatigue do we want? Do want hit points? We know that. And if I'd want this guy to be, I think the fatigue is kind of already on okay-ish level. This guy will take the plus four on the resolve. And yeah, 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 okay with that. And they will take they will take underdog now. Underdog now and they're kind of kinda ready to start. Tanking now. Let's see. Yeah, they are already pretty good. They are they are there on Sundmark level already. But uh, that means that means killing Moon will just get better. If we if we give them a little bit more time and not put them there in the put them there just yet. So we are leveling them up here safely before we put them into the front lines. Shield reminds me. Let's give Redact the shield again. ESF level 12. So let's get the let's get the defense. And on uh, on the veteran levels above 11, you no longer get perks, and you get uh, plus one three times. For for their build specifically, they don't need that many that many extra things. I think maybe I will get uh, hit points to 85 at some point, so let's do that. And uh, 92 is already good. Just making them even better, I think I will continue to level up. Level up that. But I think like hit points and defense is the one where I continue putting points in and then I'll choose choose plus ones if if they continue to level up of course it gets slower slower but we have 60 and ASF on level 12 now so that's good D-man levels up to level 7 Jesus my my non-star non-star uh, guys they keep getting plus ones so annoying That is so annoying. They will still get there, but uh, like uh, getting so unlucky with the defense is uh, this is this is hurting. Like demon was, I think they were made projected to be projected or be like above thirty, and they would have to get all freeze to get there now. But, uh, oh well. I do need that. The resolve is already pretty good. So it's already pretty good. Uh, I think I will just take that plus one. Thought that uh, yeah. Kind of, kind of no, don't need this to be higher than sixty. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Okay.
But they're gonna get Battleforged. My first Battleforged guy. Um, meaning... Meaning that they... Um, as far as getting hits to armor goes... The effective armor will go down, uh, go up a lot. In a similar way, Nimble increases uh, effective hit points. So let's take that. Let's take that, and uh, that makes Demon already already pretty decent. Pretty decent, so they can uh, they can even tank a little bit if I feel like it. He has a funny hair today. No, that's that's where you are wrong, Tiny Frog. I have uh, I have funny hair every day. It's my secret. We want to fight um really want to fight um noble company right now. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna bail from them. Other, other noble company went away.
Yeah, we should be should get food from here. Even even if they are a little bit traded. Okay, I will I will empty here. Even that uh, selling price is not greatest, but uh, we just have uh, so much of this crap that. Uh, Get rid of it. Okay, those are a decent price. They're not super high, but I will, I will sell those. We're keeping one for the bow event. Still dreaming that we one day get it. These are expensive, but I will still take it every chance I get now that we are kind of basically rolling on cash. Uh, same thing with those, just fill. Fill those up. Same thing with uh, expensive ham, but let's just get, get what we can. Probably check those farm hands if we get a uh, lucky guy. Uh, now, right now, during the war, we are not taking caravans because we couldn't avoid running into like 40 nobles. <laughs> In, in the caravan, so it's just too dangerous. Just too dangerous. looking for like perfect perfect brothers now we we need to see at least two stars in the melee defense and this kind of fatigue uh, hopefully stars in the resolve that would be ideal so basically this kind of this kind of guys just won't won't cut it but we are continue to roll roll the dice on these brothers Ready to fight, uh, fight the nobles, nobles, noble, noble. I think we might be. Here. There, machine. The 
they stopped following us and went back. Okay, there they are. Yeah, it's the same company. The other company is not here, so we're gonna fight these guys alone. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Footman, billman, the usual. where I wanted to be in. Oh, come on. Why do you get lucky on the first turn? 23%. Come on. We destroy armor as well. Jesus. So annoying. Oh, well. Yes. Let's, let's start doing this again. 85 miss. I need better attackers so the third I don't need to uh, come need to uh, I need those 95s and then we maybe only miss a couple of times fight I 
Yeah, they still have 29 percenters, so kind of... Uh, like, uh, we... We can't tank, tank there forever, but we can tank there long enough. keep getting these misses early on like it starts to pile up we need these uh, wavering effects from the hits we need uh, we need the kills like even if we get them lower just having having the numbers on their side oh interesting I didn't know you can uh, pump like that into any empty space I need I thought the space needs to be be empty there uh, behind. Okay, that's cool. It's kind of fine for me. Kind of, I don't. I don't mind tanking that space, but uh, sure. Okay, I complained about one hit on Sundmark, but every with everything else they they uh, they did well as far as RNG goes. escape Wow How did you Ah right it hits armor that's why that's why it looks so bad but it actually all went into armor but uh, Sundmark has nimble so they uh, they will not be taking as much hit points damage as, as that did to the armor so that's uh, that's normal and eventually, if like, when they get enough of those 30 percenters, they will just hit. So this, uh, I can't quite tank this many Pillman, Pillman with a nimble tank. But, um, it's fine. Nice. <laughs> 
thinking that should I should I use Indom instead of uh, just uh, reduce the damage. Cause they're gonna start they're gonna start doing damage. Gonna start doing damage to me. Fast adaptation on, they already went. Ah, it was the fleeing guy. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, uh, I was like, what, uh, what the hell was happening there? But uh, they uh, got the hits in. So that guy's going first. Okay. Monkey back in. Also chopped the head off as well. But that's why that's why he had monkey back in on this fight that we can uh, possibly get rid of bros. <laughs> Even that I just kind of recognize that they uh, they might actually be worth keeping, but uh, that's good. That is that is one of the two brothers in this fight that we are okay losing, and. Uh, why why we even have them in this fight. Nah, yeah, of course we start getting all the hits now. Just don't don't kill Sundmark like that. That would that would hit, that would hurt. and miss. Feels bad.
So, so far with my dog, guys. Yes. Perfect jump. Perfect jump from the good boy. Don't kill my good boy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I meant the dog, not Fate Stepper, but the good, good boy, just to be clear. Like, it's completely fine that they hit Fate Stepper, but not the good boy. But I was thinking that they will they will hit sixty when I put sixty in there. In their in their range. if it was worth it for this guy's kill to do this get this armor damage that I just got but I don't know just don't feel like letting guys go Rip monkey bacon. They uh, they did well in that fun and they they got knocked into that position. I didn't really want them to be there and they uh, they held on for several turns. Several turns in a position where I didn't really want them to be in. So that was uh, that was all right. That was all right. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, like, let's say in the, in the early game, early game, someone with monkey back and stats actually would have been right there with the top rows. Right now, they were they were one of the ones who uh, who we were okay to. Okay to lose. Not great that we lost them, but we were we were okay with that. Okay, let's put the machine in there. Level up thirsty man. That plus three is great. Love to see that. All plus fours, good round. Good round for them because they need hit points. They need hit points, they need them bad. Uh, Colossus are gifted. I think if I keep them not in the front row where they are now, I will uh, can live without Colossus. So like, let's get those increases and that other plus four. System nicely.
so with these two guys in a battle as well. Forte. Forte get nimble. Still be, still be okay. Time is about right to have a have a break. Let's go see if we uh, if we find that other noble party here that was here before, or something like that. Okay then. Okay then. Guys are gonna come come for us, so this is a good place to take uh, take a break, and then we'll fight some uh, fight some brigands after the break. Okay, okay. A little bit of hit points damage, but okay. Your armor is not fine. So I will see you, see you in just a moment for more Battle Brothers and let's start with that uh, Brigand fight and then uh, there was another similar noble party so let's see if we're gonna find that as well. So I'll uh, see you in a moment. <laughs> 